What is that a picture of? I looked over what? that like three times. What is, that? what is that? It looks like a popsicle. Is it? I think it's just about how hot it is. Oh yeah. It's how quickly a popsicle melts, even though it's like fucking apparently like 10 minutes. It seems like uh, enough time. <laughs> this doesn't seem Wait, exciting. Are you suggesting that this person held this up for 20 minutes? If it, they deserve... They can't be seconds because they're all jittery and fast forwardy. Yeah. Ew. Wow, afraid. it's so hot in the UK that a popsicle will melt in 20 minutes. I feel like we could beat that. <laughs> Just saying in the US. I think if I, I think if I had gone out with a popsicle right like today, I could have beat that. Easy I, peasy. I guess the UK is not used to heat. It gets hot in California. Yeah, the, the I guarantee. I mean, considering where the UK is, I, I guarantee. I think it was 100 it's... degrees Fahrenheit today and most of this week. Yeah, what what do they think hot is? Look at the thermometer. I don't know. It doesn't seem high enough for what I, I think hot it's is. It's just gray in the UK all the time. I think it's what's it's the just what they about do. It. Hey, Stephanie, would you like to look at oh, mail? Are you recording already? Yeah, we're Fuck. recording. <laughs> you bastard. Haha. <laughs> ha ha. It might be edited out or not. Ugh, that's God, the, that's for future me to decide. That's scary to We've think. We've got that you mail. Can be recording like, anytime. This postcard about my P.O. box. All right. <laughs> I could be recording at any time if you walk That's... directly up to my microphone and webcam and sit you down. Have, you have the door open. It's not my fault. The door's not open. Well, it was, oh, like it was when gets, I walked in you here. You just get gravitated in like magic. Was that a lip? Did I already grab the letter opener and then forgot? No, you grabbed the uh, scissors. Oh, there it is. Haha. You actually it's have, like one you, scissor. You actually have a letter opener? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who has those? They're like a dollar. Yeah, but you, you can... just randomly are like in the checkout at like a Staples and it's just by the register. Who has been like, to a Staples recently? That's that's how I moved here. I put all the stuff in here in boxes, which they sell in stacks at like Staples. Be like every other American. You buy, you buy like a whole bunch of boxes for like five bucks, and then you fold them up, and have to cra you have to assemble them all. <laughs> Be like everyone who stops by the backside of my work and beg me for boxes that you get for free, because that's what everyone I, like who I see does. But that's social. Yeah. And that makes me nervous. You just steal them. You I steal them from businesses. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, for those who don't know, we have a PO box we opened uh, about six months ago today because uh, I renewed it today. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good way of realizing in, it. I was in line for like an hour. It was not great. Oh, I'm sorry. So everyone's six feet apart and the tape and all that. But anyway, we got some letters and some packages and some whatnot. This one's from Alex Spencer. There's a letter. I'm showing the back of it so I don't dox random people. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, glad you thought about that because I might not have. That's because you haven't been online for way too long no like i don't i don't go on there that place is scary it's strangely weighted to one direction what's in here what is in here what the wind scarred cr <laughs> did we see it the wind scarred crag look at the picture oh my, oh it's the basalt oh, column oh. magic the gathering card <laughs> Should I show it up close? Uh, if you can, I'll probably try to edit it in the video because it's, it's incomprehensible. This is where Keith edits it because you can't fucking bad. see it. Keith, I cannot remember the last time I wrote a proper letter, so I'm probably <laughs> going to have the most awkward greeting. Hello, how do you do? Great. Now that's now that's out of the way. We can get to the card. I've made a few contributions to the columnar joining folder over the last few years, but I think my favorite had to be the the loading screen in Magic the Gathering Arena. So it only made sense that when I obtained the physical card that featured that art that I sent it to you. I hope you enjoy one of the few physical pieces to your collection. Just don't let this card be an entry point into the actual card game if you value having money for anything ever again. <laughs> I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for being uh, pretty much my only entertainment outlet for the last Aww. few years. Well, maybe just the most consistent source at the very least. Anyway, thanks again, for, uh, and I hope that you enjoy the card. Alex Spencer. Thank you, Alec. Thanks, Alec. I'm sorry for not opening this letter for like six yeah. months. Because <laughs> it's dumb, but in my head I was like, a package will arrive like 
It's like, an, uh, hey, like uh, just wait a few weeks, right? And then a package will arrive, and then we'll have like more than one letter, <laughs> more than just a letter to open an episode. <laughs> It's like for a video, like you want a package to write. Yeah, no, that's I mean, that, 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 visually, that's more exciting. Yeah, and packages finally arrived. So I opened the letter just now. This is a beautiful card. <laughs> it is as a lot of I see a lot of uh, columnar jointing on there. <laughs> yeah, it's just an entire card of basalt columns. I personally. Uh, I'm gonna keep it next to the Pokemon card that Stephanie gave me. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> I don't know if this has been shown yet. I, I don't know if you want to show that. Where to she people. desecrated a Bidoof. <laughs> the Bidoof. A Bidoof. A Bidoof. Yeah, that's all text. Nobody pronounces anything in Pokemon. It is. It <laughs> is. Yeah. Some names. Uh, he, she caught. She crossed out tackle and wrote colander jointing. And then crossed out Hyperfang and wrote Kiki Avoidance. Flip a coin if heads get tangled in headphones. Yeah. Because Kiki just takes their headphones out on a regular basis. Because <laughs> I have yeah, a, Kiki's. I have an auxiliary, I have an aux, uh, an audio like auxiliary cord extension coming from the PC all the way out over the desk to here, like in front of us. Then I have a splitter that we plug our two separate heads, headphones into. And Kiki like will perfectly like head check the the Y split and just like take all headphones with her and then leave, and then just leave. <laughs> yeah, no, she's very it's talented. Like she's very talented and very hyper involved in our lives. So, I think uh, I love Magic the Gathering like card art. I don't. I'm not. I don't like. I'm not a participant in that. Although like a lot of people have really encouraged me to. But I knew that was a very deep like crevasse to get stuck in. So I figured like, hey, you know. Don't yeah. want to spend all that. I like playing. Like you said, all that money. Yeah, because I know it's expensive stuff to get into. Maybe you can try the uh, the, the digital game if I whip out my 360 or something. Because uh, I I played uh, the Duel of the Planeswalker game on the 360, and it just kind of throws you in, and you get to just play some pre made decks against the AI. The art's like, beautiful. I, I like, just... this is fun. I like playing Magic the Gathering. I just don't want to build a deck and buy 500,000 booster packs to randomly like the, the, it's literally loot boxes. I already have my fucking gigantic fucking Pokemon card collection. Oh, yeah. I can't spend more money than that. I go back and buy like 20 like if I go someplace and I see like some card for 20 bucks, I'll buy it. I spend mm -hmm. hundreds of dollars on Pokemon cards you're in the last You're always working on the collection whereas I've got my nonsense. I think it's called Spell Force deck like card collection for a a TCG that nobody knows about. But it's all in the binder down here. I have force. I have every card in Spell in the fire. Is that is it's that just a, a giant binder of pages and pages of cards that somebody collected and somehow I ended up with them? And I'm like, I can't throw this away, you I guess, but no. I also don't know what to do with this. I have a complete set no of one, no one plays Spell Fire. A complete set of garbage pail kids, a complete series of wacky packages. And I have a complete set of the E.T. movie trading ca trading card collection. <laughs> and I will never throw any of those away. I think mine's like some kind of like Dungeons and Dragons 2.0 trading card game thing. I think. Remember back when mo every movie had a trading card set? Um, it was like that was a thing back in the day. It's like when you made a movie, yeah. you just made trading cards with like pictures from the movie. Oh yeah, like the collectible card games, mm -hmm. as opposed to like or, or just trading cards. Yeah, yeah you don't not, play not them. card games. Yeah. yeah, like like baseball cards. Yes. A lot of them are just cheaply like photos of the game. Of the movie, exactly, yeah. Just being sold in yeah. random order. It's like a go to scam. I will only buy that if it's the ET one. Next up, we've got an Amazon delivery. Anonymous. Yep. It's anonymous? Well, it's from Amazon. Oh. Unless there's a letter inside. Maybe someone, is, maybe it's just Amazon sending you. Amazon's just a big fan. Hello, strange package. <laughs> oh. There's a, there's a branding on the back that kind of, that gives it away, doesn't it? Well, I don't know what I don't know what that is. Someone you? will know. Oh. It, it's a bag within a bag, within a bag, within, within a, a bag? bag. It actually is another package. <gasps> here. Exciting! Uh, there's two, probably one for each of us. It's miracle fruit tablets. What are they, they going to do to us? Experience what is something truly amazing. All natural, made from the finest selection of miracle berries. Zero Play, calories. Place one M berry tablet on your tongue and dissolve completely. What does this do? <laughs> what does it do, though? Expires next year. That's good. <laughs> I, I would have eaten it anyway. Yeah. 
No, I've, I've, I've heard of Mir I've heard of Miracle Berries. I saw this on Game Grumps. What do they do? Uh, they're flavor enhancing things and replacing things. I actually recommended these once because I saw them around and so on. Because uh, I tried to recommend them to like to one of my grandparents uh, to help food to like help with their appetite. And it's supposed to help with flavoring. So like with with like cancer patients and older people and so on, it can help add flavor back into food when it's not really there correctly. It also has a weird effect on certain things because it makes things taste sweet. Do we need to eat something with this? Yeah. What, what should we eat with this? Uh, a lemon. Can we get, I'll get a lemon. Do we have lemons? Yeah. You get a lemon. I'm gonna get a lemon. Let's go get a lemon. It says uh, duration 30 minutes, vegan, non-GMO, sugar-free, healthy inside, happy outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh it's a t oh it's a it's a it's a it's a plane ticket to flavor tripping. Oh my god! So it says destination is healthy inside, happy outside. It's, it's <laughs> fucking so nonsense. Cute. Believe in miracles. Share your lemon smile. So it's, lemons are apparently promoted. It recommends trying pineapples, chili peppers, a martini, a strawberry, cheese, grape, lemon, apple. Okay. Well, I have, should I have gotten red pepper flakes? And just cheese? Like, just a throw chat. <laughs> and great. We have a lot of these. Yeah, we do. Pineapple's like your favorite. <clears throat> but I don't think we have any of those. We don't really have. <clears throat> I wish I had a martini, but we don't have those either. No. How many of these did we get? Unclear still. So it's, it's a bag within a bag within a bag within a bag within a bag all the way down. Bags all the way down. What a dork and these are packaged too, so oh, why, they, why is there a bag? They're already in tablet form, like pills. So we each have ten, and they last about a half an hour, apparently. So this will be this will be our quarantine entertainment. This, this will be fun. <laughs> no, Just periodically testing what these do. Oh yeah, I have strawberry lemonade. So if, if I need to test strawberry and lemon, I got a drink for those. I guess you just put it on your tongue and dissolve it. Sour cream, pickles, ketchup, mustard, rhubarb. Rhubarb. There is a there's a lemon on the floor. Well, that's your own fault. How did that happen? How did you do that, Keith? I don't know. Yep, let's try one. Generic. Why does it say generic tequila? Like as if not. <laughs> Otherwise, like, it's poison. It has a reaction. It's not fancy right tequila. Out. Not na name brand tequila. It has to be generic. So just tequila. these tiny red pills. You're taking a red pill, Keith. Yeah. That. Yeah. Editing. It's, it's definitely doing something. <laughs> but, do, you, do you feel yeah, it? Do you I don't, feel, I don't it, feel man? it. Yet. I was gonna make the same joke I think as I, you. I think I need two. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I'm not feeling anything, man. I'm gonna try lemons. It's one of the seeds. Well I'm <laughs> so sorry I didn't fucking peel the seeds out for you, princess. No, I'm just taking the seeds out real quick before I like fucking take no, the whole thing out like it's in the watermelon. Cheers. Cheers. Eat the, eat the seeds. That's weird. You're weird. Mmm. <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> Whoa, it's actually really good. <laughs> Why does that work? I don't know. I love that. That's like the. I'm gonna show this to my brother <laughs> because we both love lemonade. We're like yeah. lemonade connoisseurs. This lemon, after eating that pill, is like the best lemonade I've ever had. That is like the best lemonade I've ever had. It's like the sugariest lemonade it's ever. That's why. Even though. It's a lemon. Mm. <laughs> it's just been a lemon. It's like the sugariest tasting. Well, this is sugary lemonade. Mm. So I'm going to have a squirt I love right that. Now. It's kind of just not sour. You want to try it? It's just like a not sour version of the strawberry lemonade. It's weird. It kind of just tastes worse because it doesn't have the the bite to it. Yeah, it just tastes like a melted okay. snow cone. Yeah, it takes. Yeah, it just like defangs the whole point of having a sour or sweet drink. So that's I'm gonna not drink this for at least a half an hour <laughs> when hey, this wears off. Do you want apple or tomato next? I'm gonna take a bite of one side, take a bite of the other side. I'll try the tomato because of COVID. You know, 
<laughs> As we just both drank from I, one yeah, bottle. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's we too also, late for you. We live in the same house. I got seeds on me. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't prepare correctly for biting into a tomato. The tomato's hard to describe. It just it doesn't taste like anything I know. This just tastes like a candied apple. It's just very sweet and good and apple -y, like like a fake apple flavor instead of like a real apple flavor. I think that's probably the best way I can describe it. Sorry for all the gross eating sounds, everyone. There's like the vague... You know how there's like that vague vinegary sort of weird tang to tomatoes? Instead, it tastes like a watermelon. It just it, like it's it's so much less as a result. You like that one, I think. Keith likes uh, apples a lot. Yeah, it's like it's like candy. It's like fake apple, right? Instead it's of weird, apple? yeah, like a pretend. That's apple flavoring. It's apple flavoring number twenty-seven. Trying to drop seeds. <laughs> oh, your hands under it. That's just a water balloon we're biting into. <laughs> it's danger. This is a weird experience. This is like if you added a lot of sugar to a V8. Yeah, it kind of just makes everything taste sweet. Which is good to me. I freaking I'm 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 a I'm a sweet kind of person. Yeah. I like I like eating Peeps and marshmallow cream by itself and Nutella by itself, which is. I'm not like fully prepared to like binge a bunch of crazy shit like in this sort of filming location, but I do wonder like what kind of kind of bad t tasting things that might just like nullify. Probably you probably get yourself to eat some scary like, things with this. Let's have a tablespoon of vinegar. <laughs> probably eat dirt. <laughs> probably tastes good. I'm gonna I'm gonna use these in like a maniacal way. <laughs> just to see what you can do with them and get away with. I want to see what disgusting stuff I can make myself eat, which is probably a bad idea, but it'll be an experience. I'm gonna like eat expired things and like yeah. <laughs> if I get sick and die, it's this person's fault. <laughs> you did it. You killed Stephanie. <laughs> that was your plan all along, wasn't it? Because you knew. You knew you I knew. had no self control. You knew she was a fool. You knew that I would just eat like the spiciest pepper in the world, thinking I can nullify I'm go it. Wash tomato off my shorts. <laughs> So you're not professional like I am at eating tomatoes, Keith. And then here's what kind of triggered the creation of this video today. I'll stop is eating. Got this big chunky package today. Or whenever, well, today is when I checked the mail. But, I mean, at this rate, the last time might have been like a month ago. I kind of petered out after a while when it started looking like a plague ward. Have you been to the post office since no. the plague began? No, <laughs> I have not. So I don't, I don't know if this is common practice, but there is a... Don't hurt yourself, Keith. Eh. Use this your box opener for that. Weirdly. Use your box opener for that. Wow, this is your, like your letter opener. <laughs> Let me see that. I, I can do it. It's just, it's, it's this 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 tape is not thin. <laughs> Dude, this thing's like sealed. Uh, but yeah, they they have like a plastic sheet that comes down from the ceiling. All the way down to like the desk everywhere. Now I, can, I should go back to the scissors. This thing's like caked in tape. I I use packing tape for work, and so that's just packing tape. But it can get pretty hardcore if you layer it a couple times. Yeah, but no, like you look, you talk to the receptionist and whatnot, like from behind a sheet of like plastic that covers the entire counter and hides everything away. Does it make it difficult to hear? Uh, not well. Not any worse than the masks do, I guess. Where I work, we have the plastic guards, and so if someone says something, and you're like, "What?" And they're like, "What?" You know, and they have a mask yeah. on their face too, so it's like a double layer of miscommunication constantly, and it's very awkward because you can't. Uh... So I've been there, I've been there a few times since the uh, plague, and each time the the time before the next time I go in gets longer because I just feel like I shouldn't be there. <laughs> just feels like a bad time. So this is from Sierra it White. Is. In uh, hi Sierra White. The Vermont? No, what's VA? Virginia, right? Virginia. Yeah, yeah, Vermont's VT. Virginia VA. What do we VA. got here? Oh, 
from Katsucon 2020. Hey there, I went to a con a few months back and picked up a couple of things for you and Stephanie. It's not much, just a little something to say thank you for making great content, Sierra. P.S. Can I get a shout out? Hi, Sierra! No, it's uh, Instagram uh, slin underscore the underscore nerd. S-L-Y-N-N underscore T-H-E-E underscore N-E-R-D. I'm going to look you up after that. I'm going to look you up. I think this is the custom. I have Instagram and Keith doesn't. It's like the pamphlet. Like the, oh yeah, it's like the plan for the whole thing. There's see, like the see page, the instead page of. Page, page like plans and so on. Instead of Katsudon, it's Katsukon. Which yeah. Is, which is cute. Yeah, it shows like the map of the con and what the events are going to be and who's going to be where. Let me see it. I've never actually been to I want to see. I love conventions. Dude, one of the things I miss the most oh. since COVID started is conventions. I'm like, I was watching something and they showed f footage from a convention and I like almost had a fucking aneurysm because I love going to conventions. I think these pack, I think these letters might have been originally attached to the items in the box, <laughs> but they're not now. I'm gonna we can, we can I'm, figure it out. We're says, smart people. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> What? So there's a bunch of notes in here that say my name or your name, and I think they were supposed to be attached to something, but now, right now, they're just a note with my, with a name. We we can use context, Con right? Oh, this one's attached to stuff. It's attached to both of us. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steph. Shit. <laughs> I think they got free. Can't tell if this is from you. <clears throat> this this uh, we'll, figure, we'll, fi this, we'll figure it out contextually. This con had the voice of Master Roshi from Bra Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I don't know if it was the. Uh, I'm assuming it was the English voice acting. There's a decent chance that these dice and this other box are mine, and the two. Pokemon, oh my god! These two Pokemon things are probably yours. They had they had Retsko from Agretsko. Like the voice actor. Yeah, and Ryuko from Kill a Kill. Sorry, I'm being dork right now. <laughs> An anime mode. Oh, I think this is for me. There's a, a dice set. A full dice set from Okie Doki Dice. The draw of this box can be used as a perfect alternative trick. I think they're saying you can roll in the box. I think what they're going for. Uh, they, a lot of people do. Yeah, I think that's the implication. This con has a Star Wars island on it. Dude, I'm jealous you went Where to a con. Here you go, Stephanie. Yes! <laughs> it's a Pokemon card set. I haven't bought myself a Pokemon card set in so long. Is it a card set or is there something else in there? It's pretty. The, it's the box the, shape it, is weird. No, this is just... He hasn't bought Pokemon cards in a long time. No, because this is just how they come now. Is that, like, is that what they nice... look like now? Yeah. Yeah, I got like the the water the original decks. Like I got so, a couple so of those. So this is a pre made deck, and it tells you what's going to be in it. Ah. I'm gonna look at some art though. They got all like slanty and like not not boxy. They're very um they're very hip. They're and aggressive. Shiny. Yeah, and aggressive and corners. shiny. <laughs> lots, and, of, like... lots of non ninety degree corners everywhere. Dude. Thank you. <laughs> I'd be like Max, Max Mofo, but without the mis mystery, because this is in a random deck. A really nice Necrozma card. Looks like that, and it's shiny. So you don't have the nice, like, Pokemon card looking at camera like Max Mofo Oop. does, though. If only the... I wish the camera could pick up anything better. It look, can pick up sad Kiki pretty well. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> well, she, she looks sad no matter from how far you look at her. She's been summoned. She just, her aura is sad. Her, <laughs> her aura is that one ghost from Undertale. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah no, she, yeah. Oh. That's about right. So I got, I got an ocarina with a, there's a whole guide of fingering positions. <laughs> Shows, the, a lot of uh, people need a guide like that. I think this is all the notes of, <laughs> of the Ocarina of Time and Eb in Epona's song. Look at... Yongus, that's some art. 
The art styles are all over the place for Pokemon cards, aren't they? Well, they so they used to just have one. They used to have a, just a, like basically just one guy, and his honestly his his art is my favorite to this day. But they started uh, having other collaborators work on them, which is why you have like a whole bunch of different series. Like you have like these ones made of clay, and like these ones made of like it's beautiful. It's not Karina. It's like a little shark's tooth in like shape. It actually, looks a lot like a shark's tooth. <laughs> Look at this. Happy family. Kill them all. I'm gonna, if I ever had a kid, I'll dress him up like a Pikachu and make fun of him. Actually, I think he's a Pichu. Yeah, he's a Pichu. I'd definitely make fun of him if he was a Pichu. <laughs> <laughs> I can't place it around my neck without like untying it and readjusting it or something. Oh, Let me see. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, do here you, we go. He doesn't know how necklaces like a, work. No, I don't. He hasn't had enough necklaces. It has like a slide. To yeah. It. There we go. That's a style. My head is massive. I require the maximum size. That's why your face masks don't fit. Yeah. It's because your head's too big. Yeah, I'll have to work out to shrink my head. <laughs> I'll fix it up. That's the mouth part. <laughs> well. There might be a correct way you're supposed to blow into it, besides just blowing into it. Yeah, learn that blowing technique. Use a fast, cool stream of air instead of yeah. an, instead of a wide, warm stream of air. Like, yeah, so when Wait. you... No, look, look, Keith. Look, so yeah. when, when you're blowing, uh, like, soup, you do this. If it's cool, you'd be like, it's hot. You ever noticed that before? There we go. I can't get it consistent. I lose it. <laughs> this will take practice. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I, uh, I I played the clarinet for like one year, and that was always weird because you had to like do a weird like thrumming like roll like tongue rolling sort of weird thing. Like you had to like buzz into it, like a uh, or. A, that was less the clarinet. That was more the trumpet. But like the tr like trumpets, you buzz into the trumpet. It's weird. Like you don't just blow into it. You like you hum into it. Yeah. And here's the here's the other thing. It's my dog to stop. I'm just assuming the Pokemon things are both yours. <laughs> this one ah! got entirely Japanese labeling. Oh, is is this a loot box? Yeah. The Gachapon, I think it's called. Okay. So everyone, place your bets. Which one is it? Is it going to be one of the three new? Is it going to be Groki? Or is it going to be wrong answer? So there's Pikachu, <laughs> there's Pikachu, there's Grookey, there's Scorbunny, and there's, uh, what's oh, the, no. oh fuck, what's the blue I've one? I've been conned into uploading a video of Sobble. Sobble. I've been conned bleep, into bleep. uploading an, an uplo uploading a video of a loot box. <laughs> bloop, bloop. <laughs> okay. And apparently, it looks like they all can float in water, because there's a Pikachu floating in a bathtub on the front of this. Are they like... Toys? I mean, uh, bath toys. I'm gonna take a bath with this. <laughs> oh no, it's a bath bomb. It's a Wait, bath what? bomb. Yeah, it's a bath bomb. Wait, it's a Sobble bath bomb? No, it's a it's a mystery box bath bomb. I have to use it and discover what's gonna be in it. Oh, you get it wet and it turns into one of them? No, it, 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 it fizzles. You know what a bath bomb does, right? Well, I said bath bomb and you said no, so I thought you were correcting this not a bath bomb. So it's like, is it like no. a styrofoam toy that inflates in water and turns into the No, thing? no, it's a bath bomb, but it has a yeah. loot box, loot toy in it. Oh, it's both. Yeah, so it's not a sobble bath bomb, it's a mystery bath bomb. Or is it? It is blue. Well, I think, but it, <laughs> the picture has them all being blue. Oh, yeah, the other front cover has a blue Pokeball on it. You gotta solve the mystery, because... <laughs> The packaging is entirely Japanese, so the context yeah. was missing. Yeah, it's a bath bomb with a mystery it. character inside. I've seen ones like this before. Now we get to find out what one of four Pokemon smells like. Yeah, well apparently, whatever this one is, it smells like, like, like mountaintop fresh. Mountaintop fresh? Yeah, like linen. Like linen, not Lennon, like John Lennon. I don't know. 
What would a Pikachu smell like? Like uh, like the squir- fireworks. The score bunny just tastes like smell like burning. Yes, like it smells like burnt paper. <laughs> what a great metaphor! <laughs> Yay! I, I would like I actually like the smell of fireworks. A Pikachu bath bomb that smells like fireworks. I would like. I don't know why I'm looking at the packaging. Like I'm gonna find the information here. No, I, I already figured it out. It's a bath bomb with a mystery yeah. character inside. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a fun time with that. <laughs> I'm gonna, Not pictured. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna turn our bath to blue, and Keith's gonna say like, "What? What happened?" I said, "Well." Me and Sobble were having a nice time. What happened? I have sudden amnesia and don't remember <laughs> yesterday <laughs> or today, depending on when you get to this. Well, maybe I'll do it like in a week from now. And you'll be like, you f- you'll forget. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a kind of a Capri Sun thing going on with this packaging. I don't know how to end this video. That was the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs>